Ten years ago, I stuffed my red 1999 Volkswagen Jetta with my belongings and drove to the desert. For weeks I felt unsettled and afraid. The desert was stark, wide. The horizon was all around me, and hot, dry air blew across the landscape. I felt completely exposed. The desert has become the greatest love of my life. Police attachment, according to Erwin Altman and Setha Lowe, describes the way that we bond with place and the effect that our bonds have in forming our identities. Identity is fluid and ever-changing. Through our attachment to place, we form place identities, a substructure or a facet of our overall identities. I needed to know why I was so attached to the desert. I needed to know if I was the only person who was absolutely in love with the place. Place identity addresses where and why we feel at home in certain places, or why displacement can be so traumatic for individuals and groups. How has place shaped the person that you are? How does place inform your personal identity? For some, Place identity might only be a tiny part of overall identity. For others, myself included, it's integral to the person that I am and want to become. While traveling, the three questions you ask and are asked over and over and over are, where are you from? Where have you been? And where are you going? We make sense of ourselves, others, and our world through the lens of place. We cultivate place identity through knowledge and feelings developed through our physical experiences. Cold water against skin. Sweet canyon air. Warm light against sandstone. Through place, we can find a sense of belonging. Construct meaning. Foster attachments. Mediate change. Place identity is one facet of personal identity, and it encourages us to acknowledge the ways that we've been shaped by place, who we are because of our environments, and to look at people from places different from us with curiosity, empathy, and the understanding that their life and identity has been informed by place as well. The desert is the greatest love of my life. At this point, it is so interwoven with my personal identity that sometimes I feel like I'm a part of the landscape. I belong to the desert. I belong to the animals and plants that are hardy, fierce, spunky, and adaptable. I try to be like them. Even though I spend part of my year in other places, some that I love, some not so much, I carry the desert with me.